Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. So in today's video, as you can see, the house is a disaster. This is aftermath of Christmas. Uh, we've been welcoming a new baby into the family. I have a new baby niece, so we've spent a lot of time at the hospital the last few days, the last week. We have a mess here, as you can see. And then also all of my Christmas decor is still up and I typically have all of that down by the new year. So it's kind of driving me crazy. I'm ready to get in here and get it all put up. So I thought I would take you along today on my video. And I'm also going to be sharing a very simple and easy chili recipe. Um, on this particular day, it was about 76 degrees and we were expecting some bad weather. But the next day they are calling for snow and a drastic drop in temperatures. So I'm gonna get started cleaning up. I like to start in the kitchen and the dining area, but first I'm gonna get this chili going so it can be cooking all day. For this recipe, you're just gonna need some ground meat, one pound. I like to do ground turkey or ground beef. If I do ground beef, I like to do the leaner cut. Then a packet of chili seasoning. I like to get the mild. And then I normally do two cans of the smaller cans of the Bush's chili beans, the pinto beans, but they didn't have any small cans, so I just got one of the bigger cans. And then one can of diced tomatoes, but I like to do um, petite diced tomatoes because we don't like it really chunky. And then I just go ahead and cut up an onion and cook that with my meat. So I got that onion diced up. I'm just gonna throw it in the pan and let it cook up with the meat while I brown the meat. You can do this in a pot on the stove top or you can do it in the crock pot. I normally do it in the crock pot, but it was dirty at the moment and I just didn't wanna get it washed up. So I'm doing mine just on the stove top this time. So while I'm browning the meat, I went ahead and added my beans, my diced tomatoes, my chili seasoning, and then I did one can of just water. I just filled up the can of tomatoes with water and added that. Now you can add more or less if you like a thicker chili or a chunkier chili, you know, you can add as much water as you would like. So once my meat is done, I added it in, give it a good stir. I'm just gonna kind of bring this up to boiling and then I'm just going to turn it down on low and let it simmer for several hours. I just let it cook throughout the day. Now, if you were doing this in the crock pot, I would say you could do high for about four hours or low for about, maybe about six hours. I'm just going to go ahead and get started with picking up at things. I love to start in my kitchen because I have a really open floor plan. I feel like the kitchen is just the center of our home. That's where I spend the majority of my time. And so it drives me nuts if it is not in order. So first things first, I'm just clearing off the counters, just trying to get everything picked up and sorted and organized somewhat. And then I will move on to the dishes and all of that good stuff. And we'll work on getting the Christmas out. So while I'm doing all this, I'm just let that chili cook it's smelling so good in here and i'm just wiping down my counters trying to use up the last little bit of that mrs myers peppermint spray i really could use that year round i love the way it smells really cannot stand for my dishes to get piled up as bad as they are today. If I do not run a load of dishes every single day, then it gets piled up so bad like this. When we built our house, I specifically wanted a really big and deep sink because I knew my kitchen was going to be open to all of the areas of the house and I wanted to be able to have some dishes in there and you not be able to actually see them. So it's really bad when my sink gets piled up that big because it's so deep that it holds a lot. So this is just the aftermath of not running my dishes washer for a couple of days and us being in and out and you can just see what a mess it is it's driving me crazy so i'm happy to get this dishwasher loaded up and get it going i'm 
I'm just using a little dish soap here and some thieves cleaner to clean out my sink. I'm just gonna get started over here in this corner, picking up some of my Christmas decor. This is my little diffuser corner. You see that all the time. You see that over on my Instagram, if you follow me there, our Houston Smith home. Uh, I'm taking up this, uh, even those little trees, they could actually be left for winter if you kind of like the winter decor theme. They just have some snow on them. So technically things like that and like greenery and stuff, you could keep. Um, Especially I like to get rid of anything red or just the traditional Christmas colors, but anything neutral It's okay to keep you know during the winter time But for me in January, I just kind of like a clean slate I just like to get everything cleaned up and open and just neutral and then if I want to add in some You know different types of decor I can but something about it I feel like I, I put out so much Christmas stuff that it almost begins to feel cluttered to me especially on my countertops I just really like to keep things pretty open so for me in January I like to just be really simple with my decor So I'm just going through our fruit corner over here and we got lots of fruit around the holidays. We had fruit baskets at church and just different things. We ended up with lots of oranges, so I'm having to go through it. I did have to throw out a few oranges and a few apples and a banana that had gone bad. I hate to let fresh fruit like that go bad, but we just simply haven't been here and we haven't been eating it very good. So I had to clean all of that out and while I'm at it, I'm just taking up all of the Christmas decor. I'm going to leave this basket, this little uh, rattan round tray. I picked this one up at Target and I absolutely love it. I use it for so many things, but I really am liking it here in this corner. over here to my little coffee corner. I've enjoyed this corner decorated for Christmas, but like I said, I almost feel like it gets a little bit cluttered um, after a while, I think, of just looking at it like that. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wipe everything down over here, and I'm gonna really clean it up. I'm, I like to leave my Keurig out, and I do like to leave my little K-cups out on that stand, but um, in this video, I think I go back and forth over leaving the greenery, and in the end, I end up taking that down even. I just want that fresh look. of my seasonal decor that goes in the kitchen or the dining area, I always store it in my kitchen above the refrigerator. So I have a really deep cabinet up there and I don't use it for anything else. So that's where I put all of my seasonal kitchen and dining room decor. Well, I feel better already just getting this space cleaned up. Like I said, it's just kind of the hub of our home. It's just the center of everything and it's where I spend so much time. So when it is nice and in order and neat, it just makes me feel just better. I really can just handle the day better when I know that is taken care of. So tell me in the comments below, what is, where do you like to start your cleaning? If you are cleaning, is there a certain room you always start in? Is there a cer certain spot you always start in? Let me know in the comments below. So you can see that chili is really going. I've turned it down on low and I'm just going to let it simmer for the rest of the day while I finish tackling the other rooms. Thank you. 
Next up is the dining area. Of course, this is open to the kitchen as well and open to the living room. So it's next on my list of getting in order. It's It wasn't really messy or anything. I just had a few things to put up off of the table. But I am wanting to get all of my Christmas decor down, get the table wiped down good. And um, the hutch is another thing that I really like to decorate. And a lot of this stuff I just keep on there all the time anyway. And then I just add in a little bit of um, touches for the different seasons. So for now, I'm just taking off anything that's Christmas related and I will see what I wanna put back on there. And then I'm going to get this Christmas tree down as well. This hutch belonged to my grandmother. If you have watched any of my other videos, you already know that. So it's a very special piece to me. And so many of these items that I leave out also belong to her. These beautiful white dishes were hers. All of those glass jars, the ball jars were hers. Um, the doily, just several pieces on there belong to her. So those stay out year round, no matter what, they are always on that hutch. decorating this little tree if you remember it is my sentimental tree it has all of my kids ornaments they have made over the years and things like that so I'm taking it down in the previous years probably the last two years I have left it decorated I left the lights on and left all the ornaments on I covered it good with garbage bags and we just set it in the basement and so we did that for the last couple of years but as you can see some of the lights have went out one strand of light has went out so I decided this year I'm going to undecorate it and we will start fresh next year um, because I just, it was driving me crazy with that one section of lights out. But it just happened right before Christmas, so I just went with it and left it. But we're going to fix that for next year. So I am undecorating this tree this year. I'm just going to wrap up some of the breakable ornaments. There are a few glass ornaments, so I'm going to wrap those up good and store them in gallon size bags. And then I will store them all together in a tote. just going in with my Dyson and getting some of the needles from that Christmas tree vacuumed up and just getting the floor nice and clean. If you don't have one of these Dyson 
cordless stick vacuums, you absolutely need one, especially if you have kids, if you have crumbs in your floor. I use mine on a daily basis, multiple times a day. I've had that one for probably about three or four years now. No complaints whatsoever. I will link the one that I have in the description below, but I would highly, highly recommend that. It is supper time, got that chili ready. We just like to top ours with a little bit of cheddar cheese. We just eat it like this with some crackers. And what I like to do with the leftovers on the next day is cook some tater tots in the air fryer and we make chili cheese tots. It is delicious. That is it for my video today. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you give that recipe a try, let me know how you like it, how it turns out. Have you got all of your Christmas stuff up and put up? Um, I ended up getting every bit of mine put away. I stopped recording because it was really slowing me down and I really needed to get it all done. So I did get everything put away, got a clean slate. That's what I really like to do in January. So I'm not gonna go out and buy any new decor unless I just come across something I really think I need. But um, I'll just put out what I have. I just kind of like to shop my home. And so if you will come back in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a home tour. Uh, I'll just call it like a winter home tour and show you kind of how I leave all my decorations until spring, summer. And then I may change things up a little bit. So for now, come back in a few weeks. We'll do a home tour. Next week, come back. I'm going to do a healthy grocery haul. So it's going to be a lot healthier than we have been eating the last couple of months with all of the holiday get-togethers and all that good stuff. We're getting back on track with our eating too. So I'll do a healthy grocery haul for you next week. I hope you come back. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more videos. Subscribing is free. Just click that subscribe button and it will just let you know when I have new videos out. I put out a new video every Tuesday. So I hope you will come back and we will see what we can do in 2022. I'm so thankful you are all here and we will see you next time. Bye.